Alrighty, I'm going to teach you guys how to use this uh, <clears throat> program for a Corsair controller. This one is a K68. Uh, basically, you're going to open up the this. You download it from uh, from here. Just download this. And then you're going to open up lighting effects. I'll try to make this as simple as possible. I'm not a pro at it whatsoever. I just found it today. And uh, it's kind of easy. Uh, so first things first, you can see these lighting effects, like you click this, lighting effects, and then you have these rainbow settings. And you can actually click right here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make special colors. So I like to go here, and I'm going to just show you just real quick. If I click and drag, I want it almost to the middle. So that now that's red, like it shows here. Next, get going to open up another one, while I'm actually default back to rainbow, I'm going to choose this one, and I want white. And since this is the second layer, make sure it's got them all. So that's about the middle. And then I'm going to save that. Open up another one. So rainbow again. Switch it over. <clears throat> Switch over to red. And then click and drag to here. So as you can see, I made it red, white, red just by doing that. Uh, you can do cool effects if you want to have some time to do the cool effects. But basically whatever is on the bottom will be underneath these layers. Let me show you what I mean. So let's uh, let's remove this white one. So delete it. So now the white one's gone. It's just these two red ones. Which I didn't save the other one. Okay, so now it's just those two red ones. Next, let's pull up this rainbow one. So now we can see the rainbows just in the middle because we pulled down this layer. I really like the look of the uh, the rain one and I can actually increase the speed like that. So that's pretty cool. Now if you want to get really really creative, let's delete this rain one. Let's delete this and this. Go to color. Uh, make it blue. So now I just want to make certain ones blue. See this is the part where it's going to get challenging. I wish I could click this and then click that and then so on and so forth but you can't. So you have to go like this, click that one, open up a new one, do the same thing. Set to blue, click that one, and then click another one. Try to do this as quick as possible. Maybe there's a better way to do this. I have no idea. But it would be convenient. I'm going to do about three more just to show what the heck I'm doing here. So do T and then H and then M and then Alt. Uh, H and M. H. I am definitely going to keep this for a little bit so I can feel like I actually did an accomplishment. H, and then M, and then Alt. Okay, so now that those are done, you can see that it's like almost like a pyramid. I would like to go back up. But I just want to show you guys what the heck I'm thinking. So if I drag this down now, now these keys will stay blue. But I wanted to do rain. So now these keys will stay blue. So if I actually did double, I could make a cool design of a zigzag going around. What's the idea? It didn't look exactly perfect, but let's just say you want to just get rid of it. Just go through delete. And yeah. It's pretty cool options to go through. Like you can set it up to whatever color you want. And it's actually in real time. It changes right away. You don't have to wait for anything to load, which is nice. It looks like I can make two separate colors. I'll do lime green and white. How about red? It's cool. You can actually watch See if it does anything neat. 
random colors, slow it down. Yeah, so that's pretty much how you use this thing. It is time consuming. Maybe there's a better way to do it. I'm not sure, but that's basically the gist I got.